Happy Friday. It's Friday, and guess what? I got the day off today. Well, on Fridays, I only work eight to noon, um, but the doctor had some repairs he had to do at his house, so um, we rescheduled some patients for next week and um, worked remote from the house this morning. So this is what my work day looked like today. Uh, I got up at eight, which was a beautiful thing because I usually get up at 5.15, 5.30. Slept till eight and got up, made myself a cup of coffee, opened my laptop, got back in my bed, and just answered a few phone calls from eight to noon. I went through some old pictures, I watched some YouTube, I played on Facebook, I talked to Kelly Hurley. Um, hey girl, let me know if you find that Bible. I can't remember if I found that Bible. She was asking me about my Bible. I can't remember if I found that on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. I think I found it at one point and sent it to you where I bought it, but I don't know. But it'll be a good Bible for you. Um, anyway, visited with her, visited with my sister, and um, several videos back, um, I had asked you guys, and I don't remember how it transpired, but I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see pictures of me, junior high, high school, you know, life pictures, prom, things like that big hair days, you know, braces, awkward, um, and you guys were like, yes, 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 and so I love, love looking at pictures. Um, there's two types of people. There's people, and we've talked about this, but there's two, there's two groups of people. One group of people loves to look at pictures. That's me. I don't care who you are. I want to see your pictures. I want to know who's in the pictures. I want to know the relation, the history. I want to know all the things and where have you been and you know. Um, and then you have other people, another group of people who aren't really into that. They're like, I don't know these people. I don't care, you know, and, and that's fine too. Either way is fine. I'm over here looking at all the pictures and then you have like Shane who he's like, I don't even know who these people are, so I'm good. I don't need to, I'm good. And um, and I've also said this before, what I don't like is the same picture over and over and over and over. If you have a picture of Uncle Bill, and you adore Uncle Bill, and you've got 55 pictures of him, I don't, uh, just show me one or two, give me the backstory and that's it, right? <laughs> so anyway, all that being said, I went through photos this morning uh, that my mom had held on to. And when mom passed away, I got four boxes of pictures um, of everything and everybody. And so I went through and I found uh, my school pictures from, and, and I found baby pictures from, from when I was one day old until, you know, my life. And so I grabbed a handful and at some point in this video, probably toward the end, um, I'll show those to you. As long as you promise not to laugh. I don't even look like the same person. <laughs> but anyway, um, right now it is it is like 78 degrees. The sun is shining. It's absolutely gorgeous. Shane is also off work today, but he's over at Kelly's house um, out in Beggs, and they're doing vinyl. You know, Kelly's the one he's got the booth with, so they're drinking coffee and playing with their records, and um, so he's going to be out running around today, and I was like, you know what? I think I want to go to Goodwill. So we're going to go to Goodwill. Just go run around. I need to go to Dollar Tree. And we might find some funsies. We might not. So that's what we're doing today. Um, look, I needed some lip balm. Next subject. <laughs> I needed some lip balm. So I got on Amazon and I ordered some Sun Balm. You guys know the brand Sun Balm. I have some of their leave-in hair conditioner. I've used their shampoo and conditioner. I love it. I've got some other Sun Bun products in my um, um, cart, but they're cruelty-free, they're vegan, they're natural for the most part. It's a good product. And this is, um, it came in a set of three. This is banana, and then there was coconut and watermelon. And I love these lip balms, and they're SPF 30. So, we need that. Oh my God. 
And it smells like, this banana one smells like a Laffy Taffy banana. Mm, I wish it tasted like it. It's probably good that it don't taste like it though. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's put on our shades. So I woke up this morning, I went to Hotworks last night and I took a hot stretch class and a hot yoga class. So I got um, an hour and a half of a workout in last night and it felt so good. Um, I haven't been to Hot Works in a week because, you know, Kimberly and the boys were here and Kimberly and I got out and got our exercise out walking and um, I've been walking but I haven't been to Hot Works so I got to go last night and it was amazing and so I took a shower last night and washed my hair and so I woke up with bed head and so I just kind of blew it dry, you know, just to, just to give it some fluff. And then um, I got out my curling iron and put a few little, just to give it some body and some dry shampoo and here we are. No makeup because, I don't know, I just don't wear makeup a whole lot anymore. I just don't, because I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to dress up. I don't have to wear makeup. I don't have to put on heels. I love those things, but when you get to a point in your life and your career where you don't have to do it anymore, you just don't. So, anyway, um, when I'm not running the streets by myself, I just don't, I just don't put makeup on. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's so freeing not to have to do that. Um, let's put on our shades. Let's back out the driveway and let's go to the Goodwill. Oh, and you know what else? I think I might have a cheat day. <laughs> I don't know if I want a taco, a burrito, a cheeseburger. I don't know yet. Um, I was starving about 15 minutes ago. So I ate about a half a cup of cottage cheese and I ate some carrots and ranch. So that'll hold me, and I've got my electrolytes in here. So that'll hold me over until I get hungry again. And then I'm gonna, maybe a taco? I don't know, but I think tonight we're gonna have Caesar and salmon again. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but let's go play. To roll out. I got an ice cream. It's a little bitty one. But I finished all my salad first. from the Goodwill. Nothing super exciting, but I'm excited about it. So, let me show you. I'm gonna, I just cut the tags off, I'm gonna throw them in the washer. These are gray, they're kind of like a jogger. Pants. And I think they're men's, and they're a little big in the waist, but that's okay, they have a drawstring. I can wear them to work. Are you money in the pocket? Back pocket, drop tees, scorecards. No. Anyway, aren't they cute? Cute, cute. They're PGA Tour pants. PGA Tour. I told Shane, I said, I think I got some golf brooches. She's ready for the tour. So, oh, they're size medium, not small. Mm. That's why they're a little big. But they're super cute. I love those. 
then I found these. These are Old Navy Active. Cute. Also, kind of like a jogger, but without the cuffs. Kind of like a yoga pant at the top. Super cute. Kind of an olivey gray. They look gray on the camera, but they're kind of an olive color. We'll have those. We like that. They're gray, baby. And then I got... I like, the, I like the feel of those. I do too. And then I just got like a plain blue t-shirt because I got in Riley's closet. Well, I get in there every now and then and borrow something. Um, but most of her clothes are very basic. She's, she's like me. She's very vanilla, very basic. Not a lot of makeup. You know, we just don't. We're not blingy women. We're just not. And I borrowed a shirt of hers the other day and it was just a, a plain baby blue. And then I borrowed just like a creamy color one and they're just like basic colors and I find myself going to that. And so I'm like, I'm gonna get myself a few little basic shirts. So I just got a little baby blue tee that you can wear with anything, like even with the shorts that I have on or jeans or whatever. And I told you it wasn't real exciting and then I got this little purple number, lavender, super cute. And it's got a cutout in the back, so you can wear it with a sports bra. And you can wear it, I wouldn't wear this to work without like a tank top under it, um, but I can wear it to hot works, or I can wear it with shorts, I can wear it with whatever. It's a, it's versatile. It's one of those like stripper glitter on it. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, so I spent a $20 bill. And that's all I got. I'm talking for zits on that one. Oh my god. That one. It's open. Give something you need to talk about. Yep. I, I wanted to do my few shirts. He's having one of them days where he wants to irritate me like a 12 year old. So, you have to come over here. So, this one, this one I wasn't sure about, but I got it on the strength. You know, we, I buy t shirts, we buy t shirts. I bought it on the strength of Amy saying that she would bust into the closet and wear it. It's so cute. And it's an actual music festival shirt on, the, on the back of the dates. When he asked me what shirts, if he should get them or not, I have a new gauge that I go by. And that is, if I would reach in and grab it and wear it, then it's a yes. It's a yes. And back here, I think Hollywood Bowls. Yeah, Hollywood Bowl, West Hollywood. Pretty cool. Santa Monica, Pasadena, Beverly Hills, Malibu. That's pretty cool. I know. That's pretty cool. I like it. Just and even though it's kind of a crop top, it's short waisted. It's a little, it's a little short crappie. Waisted, so I told him, I said, if you don't sell it, I want it. But it's a long crop top. It's yeah. like one of those that's just right there. You can wear it with your jeans and your belly's not showing. If you're short waisted. If you're short waisted. And then you can never go wrong by being a Beatle fan. The Beatles. Cool. I would also grab that out of course. the closet. Of course. Yeah. And that was pretty cool, you know. He's got all his band t-shirts in the Almar now since we cleaned it out. George, Paul, Ringo, John Lennon. Yep. That was the two that I got today. I saw an MTV shirt at the first Goodwill. Yeah. Before we got together mm -hmm. today. And it was said MTV on the tag. And it was, MTV, and it was white and it was like an original MTV. Why didn't you get it? I didn't know if you'd want it. I didn't but, mean... but they're $4. You just get it. In that situation, or you text me a picture and go, hey, you want this. Well, I thought of doing that, but I didn't. Okay. Okay, listen. It's time for me to show y'all some pictures, and then I'm going to wrap this video up. And I don't know if Shane can see the pictures with me because he'll make fun of me. I don't make fun of you. You might make fun of me. Baby, look, here's the thing. Let's be honest. Let's be real honest and open. Okay, in front of the camera, be honest Let's and be open. Be honest and open. I'm a confidence man. She was cuter than I was back then. That's true. Like, she was. She was <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> I'm a laugh in your face. When I just said, as long as he doesn't laugh at me. 
Yeah. I'm just making yeah, jokes. I know, but you're you were cute. cute. I've you, seen your senior pictures. You, you were cute. cuter. She, the first time she saw my pictures, you know, you know, you go to my mom's house and like on the wall, you know, the wall, there's, there's my senior pictures, you know, with the suit and the, like I was important business as a junior in high school. Uh, Cause you go, you know, you go take your, well, at least we did. We took our pictures between our, at the end of our junior year mm -hmm. before our senior year. In a studio. In the, in the studio. Down, that one does like photographers. Down on Brookside, you know, in the fake library paneling behind you and yeah. you got to turn your hand just right and all that. Yeah. So anyway, the first time, the first time she was at my mom's house and she saw those pictures, she laughed audibly. Like it wasn't a joke. She laughed. The only reason I did is because it looks nothing like him. And he was skinny. Like he was like this beanpole skinny. I mean, he had some muscle tone to him, but he was tiny. And I did not think that this big man could be little bitty because I've only known the bald bigger shame, you know. Um, well, I, you know what we ought to do is get your senior picture and mine and put them next to each other. If we would have got together back then, we wouldn't have made it. She always says that. We wouldn't have. She always says, why wouldn't we? Why not? Because we weren't mature enough. And you weren't. You had a lot of life to live. So did I. Mm. We had a lot of life to live. I will say, like, she got married young. Mm -hmm. Like. Not, I was 19. Like, not me. Like. I remember I had a girlfriend, she was trying to like, you know, she was trying to position me into that. <laughs> I'm like, what, the, what are you doing? And I was like 20. And I'm like, yeah. See, I would have been ready way before him to settle down, I think. I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Anyway, okay. Let me go get some pictures. Okay, let's do pictures real quick. There's quite a few, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on them. And um, we're just going to start from baby away girl to, I guess, senior in high school. Don't laugh, okay? First one, and some of them are big and some of them are little. Uh, three months old. Looks like I got a little bit of red hair. There's your girl. Two years old. Must have been a birthday. I was in the high chair. I remember that high chair. My mom kept it for a long time. Uh, same high chair. <laughs> That's my signature look. See, now you know where I got it. Been doing it my whole life. <laughs> I wish we still had that high chair. That'd be cool, huh? This is pretty much how I live my life. Whee! Nice dress. Um, going backwards in time a little bit. Remember when I was telling you mom used to put bows in our hair? So I had hair so she could tie them in, but my sister was bald for a long time. She just had like that baby fine hair, so mom would scotch tape bows <laughs> in my sister's hair. But I think I had enough. She said I was born with a big bunch of black hair and then it fell out a little bit and then now, well, it started turning red or whatever color. Does that even look like me? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, there's that big old head. Okay, and this was in our kitchen, I guess. Mom put a little curl flip in my hair. Look at this swing. <laughs> uh, chilling, chilling in my swing. Look at the metal chains. It's freaking all just metal. Probably covered in lead paint, who knows. Here's another one, a full body of that same picture earlier. I was probably two, two years old. Here's another one at the studio. You know when you pose your baby. Wow. Okay, that's all the baby pictures and then we're growing up a little bit and here I was probably seven, maybe eight. That was at my grandma's house. 
with my Elvis t-shirt, Love Me Tender. Okay, moving on to first grade. Mom kept our hair long. I had bangs, my sister did not. She had long straight hair without bangs. I always had bangs. So there's a uh, six years old first grade. Oof. I don't have a second grade picture. I couldn't find one, but here's third grade. When my stupid teeth started growing in. I remember this day, it was hot outside, sweaty. And I remember that shirt. I loved that shirt. I don't know why, but I did. I loved it. We love that. Third grade. This is fourth grade. <laughs> Still with the bangs and the long hair. Still with the bows. Get the bows on the hair. This is fifth grade. Still with the long hair and the bangs. And I was smiling with my mouth closed because my teeth, y'all look, my teeth came in janked up, janked up. I had to have braces twice and I still have to wear, um, um, I went through the whole rubber bands and the headgear and retainers and I still wear a mouth guard at night. It's been my whole life. Anyway, that's fifth grade, okay? And then in, Sixth grade, I decided to grow up a little bit and cut my hair and get a perm and just kind of grow up a little bit. So this is sixth grade. We cut the hair, we got a perm, we started doing the bangs. Look at the difference. This is one summer of difference. I remember going, and look at my teeth. Just big, goofy bug teeth. And I remember like, I'm going into junior high and I need a new look. And that's what we came up with. And that sweater, I remember, I got all my sister's hand-me-downs. This was hand-me-downs, hand-me-downs. Love that lavender, by the way. Um, I'd wear that now. Um, but both of these sweaters, I remember they were on my sister's side of the closet and I waited for like two years to get them. And finally she got she grew out of them and they were mine and you would have thought I got a brand new outfit from the mall. I was so excited. Okay, and then we're moving on into, um, listen, I don't have any seventh or eighth grade pictures. Um, I found one and it's horrible, it's awful, and there's no way in the world I'm gonna show it. So we're skipping seventh and eighth grade because I was in an, I don't have an eighth grade, mom, I don't know where that's at, but. Seventh grade was awful. Eighth grade was also awful. And so we'll just, we're skipping that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and move on into my freshman year in high school. So this is three years later, 1988, 89. Bam, look at the teeth. They pulled nine teeth out of my head. And this is when I started wearing eyeliner and makeup. Look, we had a whole face of base. <laughs> We had pink eyeshadow, blue eyeliner, and jacked up teeth. So they pulled three teeth on this side, four on this side, two in the back, two in the back, and my t mouth was crowded. So they pulled all those out and then started pushing them together. This is our end result. Okay, and then this is my sophomore year. The hair just gets bigger. It just gets bigger. Look at that. The teeth are straightening out a little bit. And mind you, this is the first time I had braces. And we've gone from pink eyeshadow and blue eyeliner to brown eyeshadow, brown eyeliner. See, I always had mousy brown hair. And then I started going gray. So I started coloring it blonde. And then um, all my gray, all this, this is all natural. This all started coming in. And now we don't color our hair at all. But that's my original mousy brown hair. Okay, this is my junior year and the hair is even bigger. <laughs> Look at the hair, the braces are off. And this is before my second set of braces. So the braces are off and we started wearing a retainer to kind of push the teeth back. It didn't work real, real good. Two years later, I would be a mama two years later. No. 
let's see, how old was I? Three years later, I would be a mama. I was 17 here. Um, this is also, I think this is my sophomore year. Um, me and a friend of mine went and got our pictures done together, but this is the only one I got out of it. My mom made the dress um, for my sister, and then I finally got it, also a hand-me-down. Y'all know about, I'm about some hand-me-downs and borrowed clothes and Goodwill, always have been. So there's that, with the long permed poodle hair. Would you guys die if that came back in style? I would just fall out. If perms and wings and big bang, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a senior picture. None of my senior pictures came out good. I wasn't happy with any of them. I hated every single one of them. This is ridiculous. Gross. 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 That's the only senior picture you get. Okay, and then a few videos back, remember I was showing you the baseball fields where I played ball. I played softball for four years. Um, one, two, three, four, I played for five years. Five, I played ball for five years. So this was eighth grade. Um, we were the Nimitz Admiralettes and this was our uniform. Total, not a total tomboy, but always been kind of a, a tomboy. I've always been an athlete. <laughs> um, I was a cheerleader too. I didn't have, I, I cheered for two or three years. Um, I didn't grab a cheerleading picture. Anyway, I cheered and I played softball and I did aerobics and I ran track. And so I've always, my whole life, I've always been moving. Anyway, there's a sports picture. Okay, and then um, I have a bunch of prom pictures, but this is one that we took at the house. Um, I dated this guy for uh, two years, I think two years. His name was Nick. Uh, Mom wasn't crazy about him. Uh, when I met him, he had long hair and he played guitar. And, um, by the, and he graduated the same high school I did and he went off to OSU. So um, when I was a senior, we started dating and he was already a junior at college and so he was a little bit older. He was a good guy, he, just mom wasn't, he, wasn't her dream for her little girl, you know. Um, but he's married and um, travels and all that whatnot. As last I heard, which was, I don't know, years ago. But um, here's the, and mom made my prom dress. So we're at the house. So mom made my dress, it had a great big silver bow in the back. Um, and his mom actually did my hair, curled it and put it up in a 1980s ponytail. <laughs> and uh, we were doing the boutonniere and the corsage and all that whatnot. So here's a prom pitch for you. Okay, now we're gonna go to um, pictures with other people and I'm gonna focus on me and my sister. Y'all know me and my sister are very, very close and she's she was a little mama to me our whole lives, so y'all know Kimberly, so we're going to um, show you a picture, pictures with me and Kimberly. So here's one. We lived in Norman at the time, which is two hours away, which is where Oklahoma University is and where my dad lived. And we were wearing shirts that said I got it from Tulsa. <laughs> so there's us, me and Kimberly. This is me and Kimberly at Riverside <laughs> playing. We had went out to, try not to get the glare. We had went out to Riverside um, with mom and grandpa. So I was playing She-Ra and Kimberly's trying to tickle me. And that was a fun day. I remember, I remember that day. This is when we got our big wheels, okay? Or she had her big wheel. I'm riding some kind of little lion thing. This one's kind of hard to see. Outside playing. And this is us just roughhousing at home, being silly. There's a glare. Kimberly had bangs there. <laughs> Mom didn't really keep her in bangs. Okay, this is back at Riverside. We're hanging upside down, being silly. Oh. We had fun together, didn't we, Kimberly? This was at my, I think, my sixth birthday, sixth or seventh, and I got a deck of 
that game called Deck of Cards, Old Maid. Do you guys remember that game, Old Maid? So this was at the skating rink in the little party room. So it was my birthday, right here's me. And Kimberly was excited. She's like, Old Maid, we're gonna play Old Maid. And I didn't, I didn't know what Old Maid was, but she knew what it was. And, and I'm sure her and mom taught me how to play Old Maid and she was excited. You can tell by the look on her face. And look at her Kawasaki t-shirt. <laughs> And still with the bows. I would totally wear that Kawasaki t-shirt right now. Would love that. Okay, and then here is a Christmas. This is when mom and dad were still married. This wee little tykes by the Christmas tree. And this was taken probably at Kmart or Sears in their studio. Me and Kimberly. It's one of my favorite pictures. I remember that day. I remember mom curling my hair. She curled our hair and it was real soft and brushed out. I'm sure that lasted all of 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, there's that. And then um, graduation from high school. That was my graduation. Uh, me and Kimberly. Here's me and mom, my graduation. that glare there we go me and mom okay and then I just have a couple more and then we're done I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of pictures um but anyway um I don't know if you guys have ever heard me say I want to live to be at least 92 that's how old my nanny was my nanny was my grandpa's mom she was the rose she was the queen we grew up at nanny's house we went out there every year for thanksgiving we were either at the cabin which we took you guys to or we were at nanny's house and um this is me and my nanny uh, when i was probably five or six, it says um joella's baby amy renee west five or six weeks old there's me and my nanny oh we love her her name was myra she was married to a man named Jesse. He was my great grandpa, or yeah, my great grandpa, and because she was my great grandma. And I've heard good stories about him and bad stories about him. Um, was not a good guy. He was not a good man, and he was not nice to Nanny. But um, you know, way back then, you didn't get divorced. You didn't, you didn't just leave in your marriage back way back then, right? So she stayed with him till he died. And anyway, they had three boys one being my grandpa. So there's my nanny. We love nanny. And then this is me and nanny at her house when I was probably, I don't know, oh, 1991. So I was a junior in high school. There's me and my nanny. And she died when I was pregnant with Alex. So she got sick. She's been healthy her whole life. She used to, I mean, at this age, up until just a month or two before she passed away, she was mowing her own lawn. She took care of herself. She never lived in a nursing home. She never went to live with anybody. She lived in her own home until she couldn't. And she, um, she was healthy. She used to get on her stationary bike with a can of green beans in her hand. <laughs> and um, she worked out. She exercised. She moved her body. And, you know, she was slim. She was very active. She was always very, very healthy. That's why she lived in 92. Um, my parents were very um, active, um, especially my dad. Me and Kimberly have always been very active, and um, Nanny was very active. So uh, she wasn't feeling good one. 92 years old, she wasn't feeling good one day and went to the hospital, and they, so they're like, you're right up with cancer. And she's like, okay. And, you know, she's 92, and she knew Jesus. She loved the Lord. She knew where she was going, and um, we went up to the hospital to see her, and uh, I told Nanny, um, I said, I've, I got a bun in the oven. And then she started telling other people in the family, Amy's having a baby. And that's when I was pregnant with Alex um, almost 30 years ago. And she was real excited. And she passed away two days later. So although she never got to meet Alex, I wasn't even showing yet. I was like two months pregnant. And, um, but I'm glad I got to tell her that she was having a great, great grandbaby. So anyway, that's Nanny. And we love her. She's up there with my mom and everybody else. 
And then last but not least, this is a picture of my mom with Alex and Wyatt and her dog Blair. And uh, just showing her and her grandma, her grandma mode. This was before Kimberly was even married. Kimberly was living in Orlando. She wasn't married yet. She wasn't having babies yet. Um, I had Alex when I was 20. I had Wyatt when I was 26. Kimberly did not start having babies until she was 36. And between 36 and 43, 43, she had her boys. So I was, my kids were half grown by the time she started having babies. But anyway, um, my point is mom got Alex for five years um, as her only grandson and then came Wyatt and then came Benjamin, Harrison, Nathaniel. So um, this is mom in her element as a Nana. There's Blair, Wyatt, and Alex, and my mom. Just loving her grandbabies. Anyway, that's it. Those are some pictures for anybody who wanted to see those. And that's fun. I love pictures, not just my own. Like I said, I love looking at pictures. So anyway, okay, that's it. We did the Goodwill thing. Um, we, we sang songs in the car and we did pictures and I think that's all I got. So I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video.